Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. So you gotta ask yourself, why is it? Oh, I ain't see her. So what's your name? Christina. Okay. So why is it when we look upon what's going on in America at this present time, at this present hour, why is it black people been catching hell all this time? Anybody know? That's where the chosen. Because we're the chosen people. Okay, I like that answer. What about you? Give me do the right seven and six. Because she said we're the chosen people, right? Which is correct, right? So I want I want you to hear this right quick. Listen to this. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. Read up. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people. What did it say? Yeah. Above yeah. all people. No, I thought I thought we were supposed to be equal yeah. with all people. Yeah. Above yeah. all yeah. people that are upon the face of the earth. Now I gotta ask you a question. Now we just read out of the Bible that God's chosen people was special above all people upon the face of the earth. So my question is, if that's the case. Why is it that we the most impoverished people? Why is it that we had to go through slavery? Did y'all know slavery was in the Bible? Did you know slavery was Bible prophecy? We're going to show you today. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 28. We gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to touch the basics, right? Because our people need this, right? Because we we walking down here downtown on the Lord's Sabbath day, not knowing who we are right. in a zombie like state, because we got clear instructions of what we supposed to be doing on this day. Right. But because we not doing it, God sent these curses on us. Listen to this, verse fifteen. Read it. Oh. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight, verse fifteen. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass, meaning this is a future prophecy. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, it said, if the chosen people do not listen to God, what will happen? Read. To observe to do all his commandments. No, some of his commandments. To do all his commandments. No, just the Ten Commandments. To do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now it's very clear. It said if we don't listen, curses will come upon us. Now I got a question. Is a curse a good or a bad thing? Our minds have been destroyed. It's definitely a bad thing, right? We're going to read these curses because these curses are significant to finding out who the chosen people is today. Because if you would go by just word of mouth, you would think the so-called Jewish man over in Israel today is the chosen people. But we're going to read these curses and see if the so-called Jewish man is going through what the Bible says the Jews will be going through, or the so-called black man here in the city of Detroit going through this thing. Verse 16, read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city. What the Bible say? Curse shall thou be in the city. Now I want everybody to listen up, because God said his chosen people would be cursed in the city. When you look in the city of Detroit, who live in the hood? Who on welfare? Who got single parent household? Is it the so-called Jewish men that live in Israel? Or is this you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? You gotta ask yourself these questions. 
Read, read it again. Curse shalt thou be in the city. Do you feel like you cursed in the city of Detroit? The ones in charge are. The ones that are in position. Sometimes, what about you? The ones that are in position to make change, how can they have a chance? Sometimes you be better. So I got a question. It will is you will you be able to get an executive job before your white counterpart? Even if you have the same credentials? Absolutely. You can try, but it's much harder for you. It's much harder for you because of the system that's set up here, right? Read it again. Curse shalt thou be in the city. And curse shalt thou be in the field. Now my sister, how was we cursed in the field? <laughs> Bring it out. I want you to answer it. How was we cursed in the field? We've been cursed since the beginning of time. They, they take our jobs from us, they take our homes from us. They tell our young men that all they can be is a right now, like all they can be is an athlete. Wait, no, that's not true. All right, I'm going to show you something. I, I want to give you a visual because everything you said was right, right? Read that one more time. Verse 16, curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. Now the Bible says it will be a particular people who are God's chosen people. They will be cursed in the city and cursed in the field. Now look up here on this side. What is they doing to this brother right here? This brother is on an auction block. And what is they doing? They seeing how good of a specimen is he for trade. Today, they do the same thing in the NFL cotton bond. They put you up there, butt naked, see how fast you can run, see how much weight you can lift. They do the same thing to us in this modern day and time. Right. But, but read that part again, curse shall you be what? And curse shalt thou be in the field. Curse shall you be in the field. Look what Big Mama doing here in the field. Look at that. What is she doing? Picking cotton, picking tobacco, picking sugar cane. America is the most wealthiest country on the uh, the planet Earth. Right. How did they acquire this wealth? Through free labor. Uh, through your through your bondage, they acquired the to, the most wealth on the planet Earth. But did you ever get paid back for it? Bring it out. Did you ever did you ever get anything for your labor? Bring it. Did you ever get your forty acres in a mill? Bring No, you didn't. Jump up to verse. 46. Because we're gonna we're gonna show you how deep this is. Today y'all gonna find out the Bible is Bible. The Bible is prophecy. It's a book of prophecy. Slavery is prophecy, right? And slavery is our history. Listen to this. Read you The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. It says they. The they is the curses. What? The curses God will put on his chosen people will be a sign. Just like I know this is under armor here because I see the sign. So you're gonna know the chosen people by what? By the curses. The curses. You're gonna be able to see the curses on them and know that for a sign. Read, read it, read it again. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. And upon thy seed oh, no, forever. And upon your seed forever. Meaning you gonna go through what your father went through, what his father went through, what your great great grandfather went through. We all we've been brought here in 1619, right? We get to go back. We get to go back, right? I wanna read this next part here, verse 48, because this part right here is so clear right here. Brother in the judge doing search. But what's your name? And then what's the description? Twins. 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 All right. Brother Twins. I'm about to read something out the Bible. Do you believe the Bible is a true book? You skeptical. And, and the way the Bible has been taught to us in this modern era, you got a right to be skeptical. But I'm about to read you so and show you something that the church is scared to read. Read your verse 48. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shall thy firm thine enemy. What the Bible say? And God said the so-called black and Spanish got enemies. Read it again. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy. Read. What's the Lord shall sin against thee? Read. In hunger. So God said his chosen people for disobedience, they will have to serve their enemies for home. Who do you have to go to for your food? Even in church. 
church. Anybody. Who who do you go to your food? You like you you go to Walmart and shop? Or who owns Walmart? Does a black man own Walmart? You do you like Coney Island? You go get you a uh, hamburger to lunch with a chili cheese fry? What? Who owns the Coney Islands in our neighborhood? The so-called Arab man, the white right. man. You know who owns it. You know, uh, what's my man, uh, Muhammad be back there hooking up your food? You already know that, brother. Read it again. But the Lord shall sin against me in hunger and in thirst. Now watch this, in thirst, right? So you want Aquafina, who owns that? You want some, uh, you turn on your water in your house. Do a black man get paid? What about you like you like Hennessy? You like Remy? Everybody like Hennessy. Everybody like Hennessy. I, I ain't got no complaint with that. But who owns Hennessy? God said you gotta go to your enemy for these things, for for thirst. And then he also said, what was the first one? For food, for home. So right off the black, we identify these things a lot to you, right? Right, read on. And in first. Hold on, hold on. Let's go. Hold on. I just go by. I want to make sure everything is clear. Read it again. Therefore, shall not serve thy enemy. Hold on, sister. Hold on, sister, because I'm getting to the point. What? One more. Okay, okay, okay. It's all right. Read on. Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst uh -huh. and in nakedness. Now, in nakedness, right? Who the, yo, the back of your tag, it say made, where do it say it's made? Do it say made in the city of Detroit? Where do it say it's made? China, Thailand, Tokyo. But God said, remember, God stated, you're going to go to your enemies, right? So I want you to get to this clear. According to the Bible, everybody ain't your friend, right? Read on. And in want of all things. So whatever you want on this on this earth, on this planet earth, you want a driver's license. You want an education. You want a birth certificate for your child. You have to go to another group of people outside of your race. Why? Because we don't manufacture these things. Even something small as tissue. If you want to wipe yourself, if you can say today, I'm not using nothing that was made that wasn't made by a black man. You wouldn't be able to wipe your behind. You wouldn't be able to wipe your behind today. Right. Because we don't manufacture these things. We have to go to another nation of people and God calls them our enemies. Right. So I want y'all to hear this next part because this is going to blow your mind. Read this. And he shall put a yoke of iron. Now this enemy going to do what? He shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Until he has destroyed thee. Now I'm going to get down because I want y'all to see these images, right? Who did this to our people? It said, he shall put a yoke of iron upon our neck until he has destroyed thee. Who did this to the so-called black man? You the only one know? Don't nobody know who did this to our ancestors? You The so-called white man did this to our people. It seems like brother's scared to say it out here or something. Y'all, it's too many white people out here. The Bible says not only, not, not only was it th these uh these people we call white people, but God called them some particular. Read it from the top. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Read it over. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy. Who did God, what did God call the man who put us in chains? Our enemy. Right. Our enemies. I know you don't like to see God created us to be loving and to love everybody, but no. Do a friend hang you another friend from a tree? Nope. Do a friend create a system to where it's hard for you to prosper? Do a friend create a school to prison pipeline for your children? What we gotta do is come out of this cycle of America. Give me that Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. Because brother, y'all know it or not, today is your day. Today, y'all being called out of this system called Babylon. Y'all being called out of America today, whether you know it or not. Read what you got. In the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. God said, Come out of her, my people. Now, I got a question. Brother on the bike, you let an older brother. Who is God's people? 
Israel. Uh, what's the name? Who said that? What'd you say? Israel. God's people are the Israelites. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.